To a certain extent, it can be said that the ceiling ring officially started the Industrial Revolution. The energy efficiency ratio of early steam engines was actually very low, because it could not find particularly suitable ceiling components, so it was prone to a leakage. Until 1839, American Charlie invented rubber vulcanization technology, which solved the problem of rubber becoming soft and sticky at high temperatures and hard and brittle at low temperatures. Since then, rubber has played the most basic and important role in the era of the Industrial Revolution. Moreover, after the steam engine used rubber ceiling rings, the energy efficiency ratio was greatly improved and it truly became the locomotive at the first Industrial Revolution. Then in 1912, another American designed a device that used vibration technology for material transportation, which is the circular vibrating plate that is still in use today. The circular vibration has also become the earliest automatic feeding mechanism for O-ring seals. However, with the development, this automatic feeding method has also encountered challenges, such as the problem of multi-size incompatibility and the sorting problem of different colors. Therefore, when the vision and flexible vibration plate technology matures, flexible loading will take on the task of compatible loading. But no matter which loading method, it will encounter a problem, which is the ceiling ring with oil. Because the oil is viscous, it will not only cause the ceiling rings to rub up with each other, but also affect the operation and accuracy of picking and placing. At the same time, as all stains accumulate, the entire work area will eventually turn into a money pump. It is best to operate the oil ceiling ring manually at present.